tonight I wanted to start a new series um, inspired by um, Whisper Audio's new um, videos slash channel um, which is all uh, done um, using the iPad so she reads on it and she looks through stuff and um, so what I've done is I've collected some food related illustrations and I've separated them into categories and I'll just be describing to you um, the images and hopefully this will help you to sleep so this first category tonight is going to be um, cooking illustrations so all cute illustrations that I was able to find on Pinterest um, that are related to cooking and obviously all the names of the artist and um, their websites and everything is going to be under the description of the video um, and if I can, I'll also write it on, on the screen. So, this one... This one is a beautiful scene of many people cooking. It almost seems like it's a cooking class. It could be a cooking class. I haven't um, looked at the titles of these um, drawings yet. Um, but it seems like they're making cookies. So this is some sort of cookie dough. And then these also seem to be made with these whilst these seem to be our gingerbread biscuits then we have some coffee here and probably this person is making another batch, another different kind because these seem to be chocolate I don't know if you can see the colour very well this seems to be more brownish um, and maybe gooey as well and I really love the simplicity of this drawing um, I find it it's very in right now this, this style of drawing this uh, person here might be the teacher, assuming that my assumption of this being a cooking class is true. And then I really like <clears throat> this character here. That um, who's maybe um, adjusting the oven or fixing the oven. Or maybe just waiting for um, their biscuits to be baked um, with a very cute dog next to them and some uh, fresh coffee on there as well. However, there are two pots of flowers, I think, maybe tulips. Um, so this could also maybe be a shop or some sort of, yeah, workshop or seminar or something. Anyway, it really 
makes me very serene to look at this picture. Let's have a look at the next one. So this one is a proper recipe. Um, almost like a visual one. And it seems to be minestrone soup, I would say. We have water or broth, maybe more, um, judging by the green color. And then we have celery, like a big stick of celery, and some sort of herb. And Parmigiano cheese, two carrots, garlic, and half an onion. And then we have pepper, leeks, a potato, probably bay leaves, I would say. And this I'm not sure, it could be parsley, I guess. Um, so yeah, I would say it's definitely um, a soup. And it does seem to be an Italian soup. Um, because we do tend to put, um, to add the crust of the parmesan um, at the start of making a soup to give more taste. So it is very likely that is a minestrone soup. And this could also be by Felicita Sala because I think I recognize the style. Um, but again, I will put the the name and, and everything. Um, and if you don't know who she is, I made a video of one of her wonderful books, which is um, a children book with um, recipes included. So she mixes these two things and um, I really love a style. Let's have a look at the next one. Um, so I really like this one. It's very um, trendy. Um, but also warm. So um, I find that some with this style can be quite um, yeah, let's say cold, let's say um, they want to be, it seemed like they want to be so minimal and um, and fashionable that um, they're gonna forget the, the heart. But this one definitely has it. And I say these are three friends maybe? Um, or sisters and they're cooking something together um, maybe for like a dinner together or um, some sort of party um, I'm not sure what this is I thought at first um, at first sight I, do I thought it was an avocado, but obviously it's yellow, so could be, I guess. I don't know though if the colors are realistic. And this is definitely a potato, and this is salad with some sort of maybe these are like cherry tomatoes. And then we have carrots and spring onions. I really like this um, um, 
glass with some sort of herb um, because this is how you're supposed to keep the herbs when you buy them um, to keep them fresh for longer and I really have no idea what this is it's purple know this for that matter Okay, so this next picture couldn't be more further away from the from the last. It's very busy. Very, very busy. But I just loved it. I love this kind of pictures because you just never stop looking at all the details. So I think I'm going to actually zoom in into the different um, corners of the um, painting maybe I think this is paint, yeah maybe watercolor or something first, let's see who's cooking this is very young looking girl I think um, and the style of hair would suggest even maybe even a sort of a teenager or a child but um, then there's a glass of wine here so I don't think she's that young after all let's zoom in So, on the stove, I think this is definitely either pasta or, or some sort of like potatoes, I think. And this is a steak. Could be tuna though, it could be like something different than a, like a regular steak. And some sort of greens here, maybe green beans. I can see like the strikes here of the I can't remember the name now. Mm. So annoying when it happened. Hopefully you get what I mean. There's some um like a grinder here. Like probably salt though, because the pepper ones tend to be black. And the salt ones tend to be white, generally speaking. Um, and this is definitely olive oil, I would say, because it has this very thin top. Um, that doesn't allow it to just flow out. There's some several. Object on the shelves. I'm not sure what these are. They kind of look like dirty stockings to me, to be honest. But maybe they're salami or something. I'm not sure. And this, I'm not sure if it's like a broccoli head or maybe something else that's not like a vegetable. Mm, not sure what this is either. She's definitely blending something here of um, vegetable kind. Maybe she's making a sauce. Um, and I really like these random. So the 
these are two boxes and I like the um, funny a detail here of the upside that it's upside down so somebody definitely made a mistake so here there's a fridge with different beverages and these tools could mean that this is like a like some sort of fancy house or maybe even well, both the <clears throat> both the stools and the fridge gave me that impression. But the sheet does have she does have a hat on, like a proper chef chef's hat. So I'm starting wondering if this is a, some sort of catering business because she does seem professional. But at the same time, this does not look like a um, professional kitchen. Hmm. Let me know what you think. She's slicing either a crochette, maybe, or Here's another random cooking ingredient. Just a random piece of fish. Um, what else? There's another cute dog. Like the picture, like the first picture. And um, again, more different things on the shelves. Including potatoes, maybe these are like chilies. This is definitely salami, isn't it? Maybe it's a deli, or maybe like um, the back of a deli with, and maybe they cook as well um, and serve food as well. Not sure, but um. I love it. I really do. I love this sort of naive style. Like almost, um, almost drawn badly, if you know what I mean. But it's not, it's not badly drawn, but it's the kind of, um, it's the, the, the kind of style. So, let's say goodbye to little chef so this is a beautiful picture and it's a beautiful house very big large um, very fashionable very stylish house with a huge plant here. Um, three lamps that illuminate just perfectly the work surface. Two cactuses. And I really love the colors as well. They're all very like um, warm and on the um, all very green and brown and beige and this woman is making um, probably a pie I would say a blueberry pie because this is definitely pastry and I think this is I'm pretty sure that I'm not sure about this, but it can be butter or some sort of filling. Um, a 
think this is stunning. And I really like the the interior design of the house. This beautiful sink and all this beautiful details. I'm quite sure that um you know she's making a pie for some friends or children but the first thought that I had when I saw this is that she's feeling very lonely in this big house and that the cat is helping her feeling less lonely maybe but you know I can be completely wrong be very curious of your opinions um, on this video because there's so many things I'm not sure about and that's the beauty of art I guess but yeah, it would be nice if you could um, tell me your thoughts right so this is a very like proper painting isn't it and um, I think, I mean, the, the, the first, um, what strikes me at first is how messy it is. Very messy, very, very full. Um, very full of details and um, busy. And it is also a style that um, doesn't really, it seems like they don't really want you to make out what exactly everything is. Because they're a bit blurry and, but I, I love it. I think this is definitely salad. Maybe some cheeses. And these, at first I thought they were tacos, but um, they could just simply be sandwiches. Most I'm definitely not sure about this plate with um, sort of bread. so red. Maybe, maybe it's sushi, but that, that would make for a very weird um, dinner with <laughs> cheese salad, sandwich and sushi. Oh, maybe this is fish though. I'm, I'm really not sure. And, um, but it definitely seems more like, um, like a home scenario. So definitely I would say this is a, a family dinner or lunch. Um, and maybe the person who was preparing it was also drinking because <laughs> this bottle of wine is half full. Um, so it seems to be a trend in these um, paintings. So let's have a look at another one. I wanted to include this one because I love it but um, it's very blurry and I wasn't able to find a better version. But I love the three generations cooking, making a, maybe the same recipe or something um, together. I thought it was very sweet. Um, I'm not sure. 
about this smaller table and it kind of confuses me and it clashes a little bit uh, from the idea that I had looking at this other side because this really seems to me like a grandma, a mom and a child cooking something together but here there's a table with just two chairs and then these seem cookies and like some hot drinks and I'm not sure this is but it kind of looks to me like a croissant or maybe maybe a slice of toast trying to work out what they are actually cooking it's a bit more complicated because there are definitely onions and garlic maybe this is ginger but then there are oranges and Is, but I guess it could be it could be turmeric I guess and then there's the let's call it the daughter she is filling these bottles maybe maybe she's like preparing them yeah because there's no water so they could be making some sort of um, like a sauce, a salsa or something to sell maybe. So yeah, I really like this one even if it's a bit blurry. And next we have another very minimal one. And this is um, a girl making a salad alone in her kitchen and it seems like she's cooking something else as well but it's, it's definitely a weird a weird sort of kitchen isn't it because there's just this pink countertop a single stove here so not very realistic I like the colors though they're very um, soothing this um, lavender color lots of green and this is one of my favorite colors I don't know if you can see it it's kind of like sometimes it's called lime um, it goes very well with the teal I think as well um, so yeah this is very minimal details I really like there seem to be like one of each everything one cup one teapot and this single the single solitary stove here so yeah this one is very very simple but also very cute and I'm not sure if she is tasting something or maybe making some sort of um, Maybe she's making a dressing, that's what it is. I've convinced myself now. And she loves food. The 
This one is quite creative, quite artistic, I thought. First of all, because it seems to be drawn um, onto um, some squared paper, or like a one of these, um, I can't think of the word, but it's, you know, the ones they use at school. Um, so I, I really like the, um, contrast, um, between this and then the, um, the drawing. And so the characters pretty sure they're mother and daughter. And I think they're baking something. Well, it is quite obvious in this case, because it even gives the, um, the, the brand even. So, we have baking powder, self-raising flour, the sugar, milk, and berry jam. Mm. And then there's one lemon, one apple, one pear, some spices, and a whole stick of butter. These two yellow golden things, I'm not sure what they are. I guess they could be... Hmm, what do you think? Maybe honeycomb? But yeah, it's definitely some sort of um, pudding. Um, I think... Um, um, pear and apple, M maybe they won't use all of these ingredients in this. But yeah, I thought it was um, quite cute. And I really love the expression, very serene expression of the mother. Okay, so next one. This is another mother and daughter baking session. And this time there's even a smaller child playing on the floor here. Um, and I can't really tell if this is set in a, some like olden times, or or maybe some sort of fantasy um, place. Because I think I'm not sure that these are like dolls or furniture. I think they're actual. They're supposed to be alive, <laughs> so I think the baby here is actually playing with a sort of fairy. Um, I can't really tell what this is. Mm. There's a random lamb on the floor though. And uh, some baguettes and bread. And then there are these giant flowers. So I wonder if maybe they are like tiny um, characters. I think they're baking bread. Even if there's a pie here. 
and some fruit and vegetables. I think that what they're actually baking at the, this time is bread. The picture of someone here. And maybe this is, um, it seems like a nest with an egg. Don't know if you can see it. So yeah, this sort of fairy or maybe troll. This is definitely the most enigmatic one so far. So let's see the next one. So this is another um, close-up of, of the actual cooking. So at first I thought this was a stir-fry and this was a soup but I think it is more likely that this is a broth that has been made to, um, to use with whatever um, this main um, dish is which I think is more likely. Um, again, I really like this very rough style. Um, and here I think this will be a salad, maybe. With olive oil, pepper and salt. And I really like these other... Um, these three plants. And the flower pot. And the flower pot. And the salad, the ingredients to make a salad. So that would suggest that my idea of the main dish is correct. Um, I think this one is very elegant. I really like the olive color here as well. And this um, kind of stove reminds me of Italian ones, like especially like um, in the 80s or something there was, um, there were these kinds of um, Girls are very um, another woman cooking alone with a cat, and she's also tasting what she's cooking. Maybe not because it seems to be a radish. Was these are not? I'm not sure what these are, but this is definitely tomatoes, a lettuce, and I would say aubergines here. I think the difference. is that she's looking right at us. So in this case it's her actual expression that is conveying some sort of like loneliness I think. Again, I might be completely wrong. Um, but this is what it seems to me. Um, and 
kind of like um, this one because it's also very different style than the others. Um, maybe actually it's just a face that it's a different style. It's very kind of carefully drawn while the rest is still a bit rough like the others. they're making. Another cat. I guess, I guess when there's food, there's a pet going around, um, smelling it and demanding it, I guess. And um, I think this is the mom and her daughter. Um, again, this to me seems like um, a pasta dish, but it can be anything. This is a big um, shallot, or I think it's scallion in the American version, um, and rosemary, and there's a, um, a cheese grate or so. Would suggest to be Italian. Oh, okay. Here we are. It is Italian. La cucina piccola fa la casa grande. The smaller the kitchen, the bigger the house. Well, no, the bigger the home, I think it means. Mm. Yeah, there's even a basket full of bread. I'm 
absolutely adore this one. Completely different, but still with the cat involved. Um, and, and still a woman and a cat cooking. This beautiful picture. Very, very minimal, but so well done. And I'm not sure if you can see the details, it's like the paper um, used um, to draw on to um, is of the very rough type. Don't know how to describe it, but um, you see here, it seems that this has been drawn onto some um, like rough kind of paper. I think this is stunning. I don't know what it is about. Um, the simplicity I guess. And I really like the colors. I love that the color of her um, top um, is also found in this heart. brownies that they're going to have with some tea and making and maybe they're making something for for dinner as well maybe lighter so that they can feel less guilty to eat the brownies after And I don't know if uh, Pinterest thought that I was interested in, in pictures of uh, women uh, cooking alone <laughs> um, because after a while I went with what it was suggesting me um, in order to find more um, illustrations so maybe that's what happened a trend. This one I'm pretty sure is baking banana bread. Um, that she's going to have with a coffee. Well, another one because this will get cold. <laughs> but what I'm not sure about this picture is her expression. Maybe she's just very worried um, that something will go wrong, maybe. Maybe she's not used to bake. But um, yeah, definitely very um, worrisome looking eyebrows. This is definitely a thing, isn't it? Another, yet another um, woman baking alone with a cat. This last one didn't have a cat though. And she's making croissants, so it's quite, uh, quite difficult as well. I think she's going to fill them with jam unless this is for something else but um, I think this is really beautiful this style of um, drawing 
really really elegant and simple um, I really love how um, they made the, the hair but um, I don't think you can see it no mother and a daughter probably very likely I think they're making an apple pie and it's definitely autumn outside so that would um, that would make sense I bet one of these is cinnamon um, so this is very very simple um, less creative maybe, less like a less um, artistic kind of drawing but more something that would be in a children's book I guess but it's really really cute and it makes me serene just by looking at it Right, so this one is definitely a complete different style and I couldn't figure out if it is actually an old drawing or it's a recent one but made in a style um, that um, um, would suggest um, some sometime in the past and finally we have a man cooking um a dad i guess and i think they're also making apple pie and i really like the two children drawings and the school things as well this is another another one set in the autumn as well very warm very beautiful I think and here's the cat but yes I guess this the door is definitely would definitely suggest um, either like a country house or or maybe a set in the past. if this is the same artist because from some details it would seem to be the case but not for others um, but um, this is beautiful as well isn't it lots of vegetables on the table tomatoes, onions and some preserved ones so I think that's what they're making and like the 
the other picture there's one child helping and one child playing slash eating. So this one is a close-up of somebody baking and I really really love it. I love the colors. I guess it's how I would set um, one of my cooking videos as well. So from, um, from above. Um, and they're also making something with blueberries, um, like one of the other pictures. So maybe a blueberry cake in this, in this case. Um, but a sugar, lemon, and eggs. I really like this one. you know. Um, but yes, I, I really like this style too. I think this is definitely the same artist with the guy cooking. Because I definitely recognize the style. So that makes me think that it was a contemporary artist just making something um, kind of vintagey looking. I really like this one because this mom is really busy and um, she does things with one of the um, children on her and um, I love the coffee here. Oh, that's quite dangerous. Um, and I love that it's snowing outside. It's just really, really warm um, picture. And I guess this is what I love about um, illustration. As well, um, but um, it can definitely bring up very strong emotions that can be um, very negative as well, or just really, really strong. Um, but illustrations. With illustrations, it's more like um, it's more likely to be just warmth and just a beautiful picture to look at with warmth everywhere. And there's usually like they invite you in their homes. Um, so to me, it is just very, very relaxing and it just actually makes me happy, I think. It's something that actively changes my mood for the better. Um,
Okay, so here we have another one that I'm not sure if it's countryside or um, sometime in the past. But um, this woman is expecting and Here's the bowl with um, some sort of dough or cake mix or something. And the mom has obviously allowed her child to, to try the, the raw cake mix. All of this with a chicken looking. also having a coffee um, and there are other baked goods here there are other baked goods here so I'm not sure if maybe she's selling it or she's taking them some sort of um, party or something. This looks like a loaf. Um, these look like the Easter, um, what are they called? Hot cross buns. And this looks like a tart, maybe a fruit, maybe, maybe with jam. Um, Also very warm and makes you feel at home. Okay, so this one is saying why only have one pet looking at you cooking when you can have one, two, three, four dogs and two cats. <laughs> And this um, woman is, seems to be cooking dog and cat food. So that's different at least. Um, but it's, it's very cute and it reminds me of, um, of some Disney movies like this star for some reason. Like maybe the Dalmatian one. It's a 
book, I'll definitely gonna check it out. So in this one, there is only a hand um, cracking a neck somehow. Um, and more whole eggs here and some ketchup and mustard and extra virgin olive oil but um somehow I'm I, I just love it I don't know if it's the colors or what but um yeah I love it um and I'm not sure if this person is selling the eggs or what is going on but um yeah I thought it was, I thought it was really cool this one this one it's very simple um it's like a Polaroid style and it's just this person making a dough, probably bread maybe with a bit of rosemary but again I thought um, the contrast of the colors um, these are I, these colors together I've always loved for instance um, I just I just love it I, I wish I was I was that just sitting next to this person and looking at them baking away um So this is the last picture and it's a more modern slash minimal slash um, stylish maybe version of the other um, hand cooking one and I think this is the same um, artist of um, the one that was grey and was baking something with blueberries um, because this is also um, like I can see it's like digitally made and also from above, like I would set one of my cooking videos. Um, and I would eat this in a second, I think. This is a very yummy looking salad. I think maybe this is um, baby kale. And, um, avocado but I kind of wish it was apple um, and probably some radishes and cucumber I think I'm gonna steal this I'm gonna make it I don't know why but it seems very yummy which is um, rare for a salad This was, yeah, this was the last one. Um, let me know if you enjoyed this video. And I 
will make some more. Um, again, I've collected a lot of um, different illustrations and separated them into categories. Um, and separated them into different categories. Um, to me, this is the kind of video I would like to watch more of because, again, illustrations just put me at peace. <laughs> I'm just happy um, with them. So, hope you enjoyed. Buenas noches.